Hi, I'm just running through some of the things I'm going to be teaching this week. So I've um, want to work on strength of feet and hips. Um, just read a really interesting thing recently that, you know, um, whatever you practice in yoga should be supporting what you do in life. I like walking around uh, and I like running. Uh, and so these are kind of things I think are going to be useful to help me do that very thing, walking. Uh, so I've got a weak left hip, um, I got one over years ago. If you've watched my vlogs, I've mentioned it many times. Um, so I'm still trying to battle that thing. So today and this week, we're going to be looking at toes. So we're going to be starting feet under hips, resting with toes, lifting up, hips, and through that time. You might be thinking, ooh, why are you doing toes so much? And I talk about my hip, but I've got a pronation and I want to strengthen my ankles. So yoga shouldn't always be just about flexibility. I think it's got a bad um, rep, really, that. Okay, so now I'm going to come from the toes to bring my hands up to heart and then bending knee. Feels lifted. Try and keep my pelvis upright and my spine straight. And then straighten up. And then I'm going to take this into the chair. I'm doing a very again curtailed version of this. So for my chair, I'm going to firstly come up onto toes, bend my knees, and then I'm going to lower my heels, keep my spine straight, pushing my hips back, spine straight, and we're pulled in. And then I'm going to push back up, using the legs, rise up, and repeat them again. Toes, knee, heels come down, hips come back into the chair. Toes, knees, heels come down, hips come back into chair. So I'm now going to take or straighten up and bring this is my left leg, but it's going to look like my right leg to you. Hands going down, foot's going back, coming back into. Warrior three. Dropping my left foot off the mat, obviously. <laughs> Knee over ankle, hips are even. Up. So I'm trying to take my left knee close to the floor, right knee steady. And then stepping forwards. Crossing an ankle over, taking it, one legged chair. Obviously, there's an option just to kind of take it low if you don't like that. Stepping back again, back into my Ashtangrasana, knee over toes, foot pointing forward, left knee to the floor. Looking at this side on, my pelvis is upright, I'm not bowing the spine, it's nice and neutral through the middle. And then I'm going to bring my left foot in, my right foot's forwards, bringing my hands down to shin. So we're just going to pause in Alpha Tanasana and then I'm going to glide through. I'm just trying to, hopefully, what you can see by doing it this way is my feet are pointing forwards and there's a revolving through the spine. Ribs start to pop out, so I'm just going to hug my ribs in and then turn them back. And try and remember what I've just done. <laughs> Up, toes, knees, heels, chair, toes, knees, heels, chair. Toes, knees, 
heels, chair, straightening up, just peeling off the mat, I'll just take my hands to heart, pushing my right foot forward, so I'm trying to keep my left foot nicely grounded, hips are even, and then taking the foot through into my warrior three. So my warrior three isn't that brilliant if I'm honest, I'm not like a perfect T. My warrior three just wah, depends on the foot. My left leg is not the best leg. So my warrior three sometimes looks like a bit of a what, like a very lost side of seesaw. And then on my warrior three, taking my right foot back, so it's going to look like my left foot to you. And then taking my right knee to the floor. So again, knee over ankle, nice and steady through the hips. Pelvis is up, right ribs over hip. Now just try to squeeze my left heel in towards the centre again, really using the left legs. And then pushing forwards again, we've got a little option to cross an ankle. I'm not going to full chair, but I'm going to attempt a chair. And then stepping back again. And then straightening up, bringing my back foot down. And I will show you this side on as well. My back leg straight, there's a little soft bend in my front leg and I'm letting my hands guide me down. So I'm coming to a straight spine on purpose because I'm gonna then take it into a triangle. So I'm bringing my right hand to my back, bending my head, bringing my lower ribs in and if it's comfortable, bringing my hand up. Turning, pushing off with the front foot to come back. And that's the standing sequence today. Again, curtailed, it will be a little bit longer in the lesson. So there you go. Bye.